I feel like the next few months are going to be really messy um, and, and, and difficult, frankly. You know, you've got retailers with a lot of excess stock. Um, and it's not, it's funny, there's a lot of conversation about the excess stock in retailers' shops. But it's also, um, the, the problem is it's the wrong stock. Uh, like a lot of people, a lot of what consumers are buying when they're buying online, they're buying basics, they're buying home comfy clothes, they're not buying uh, sparkly floral dresses to wear out at night. So it's not just that there's an excess amount of inventory uh, that we're going to have to deal with, but there's also the wrong kind of inventory that is even that's on hand. But, and also there's a, a real economic problem. Uh, and with, you know, the, the, and we're obviously all going to, you know, have to figure out which is how is the consumer going to behave, you know, with the economic tea and town term, what are the, what are the real pressures? What will the new shopping habits be? Will there be shopping habits? Uh, but putting the sort of immediate aside, as I kind of alluded to before, I, I'm given a lot of, a lot of excitement about the brands that we were working pre COVID have said, look, steady the course. We're not reducing uh, our orders. Uh, we want to, as soon as you can get safely back to work, uh, let's get the product back in the pipe. And I'm, and, and all of our product efforts were about making, about upcycling product, about supplying product for uh, recycling purposes uh, from post-consumer textiles. And I, I'm, those calls have certainly been reassuring, but I'm, I also think we just got to be really honest, the brands, all of the brands, all the retailers, I mean, this is, it's not going to be an easy time. And that all of that has a knock on effect uh, to our, uh, all of our efforts, including sustainability.